Hi, my name is Caroline Graham, and today I have the absolute privilege of introducing Sydney Grader. The first time I got to know Sydney was when we were in the same group in our eighth grade drama class. The first thing that I noticed about Sydney was her hair. Sydney has the prettiest, flowiest hair of anyone that I know. However, as I got to know her, she became more to me than just the girl with the beautiful blonde hair. Sydney was always so friendly and inclusive and was a strong leader in our group. Since then, I've had the pleasure to be in many more group projects with her, and in each one of them, she is just as hardworking and kind as she was in our drama class. Sydney is one of the kindest people that I know. She genuinely cares about how other people are doing and always makes my day better with her funny and kind personality. She is a natural leader, whether she is in the classroom, on the soccer field, on the track, or making sure everyone gets in their pictures for Carolyn. Alabama is lucky to have such a remarkable girl next year. I know she has something wise and insightful to say, so please give it up for Sydney Grader. Welcome home, a simple two-word phrase that greets us after being gone for some time and returning to a comfortable and familiar place. A phrase that we hear when we get home from a trip or a sleepover at a friend's house. A phrase that reminds us that we are safe and loved in a particular place. A phrase that not only welcomes us back to a place, but back to a community and people that care about us. Every year that I've been at St. Mary's, Rev Bush has never failed to welcome us home after summer break. On the first day of school, after we all settle in for chapel, after asking classmates about their summer, we are greeted with a warm and familiar welcome home. We missed having all of you in this place. Over the years, and especially now that college is quickly approaching, this statement has become super special to me and will only continue to further its meaning. If you know me at all, then you know that I am a big homebody. I don't like being in an unfamiliar place for too long, and being away from the people that I love is very hard. I think this is mainly because I'm not a big fan of change. I'm perfectly fine being with the same friends all the time or just sitting at home with my family because those people make me feel safe and, know that I, can, and I know that I can always be myself with them. They know what makes me happy, sad, or stressed, and love me the way I am. However, in just a few months, I will say goodbye to all of the people and places that I call pieces of home and eventually move somewhere entirely new to me. Not only will I be saying goodbye to my family, St. Mary's, and teachers who have guided me to where I am today, but also 71 girls that I have had the pleasure of calling my classmates and friends over the past five years. I know without a doubt that will be one of the hardest goodbyes, but I am confident that we will be able to remain friends even after we go our separate ways. That goodbye will be the beginning of a very difficult change in my life, but my hope is that the home feeling St. Mary's has given me will follow me to college. I hope to find a community that makes me feel at home, even though I am far away from the people and places that are actually home. To my amazing class of 2021, Thank you for making St. Mary's feel like a second home to me. I cannot even begin to describe how much all of you impacted my life when I came to St. Mary's in eighth grade. After going to the same school my whole life, I wasn't completely sure I had made the right choice to leave, but all of you have shown me that it was one of my best decisions. I will miss the many arguments in our grade group me, stressing over tests and hard classes, and laughing with all of you every day. Although we may not be together next year, I know that we will welcome each other home as we reunite over breaks from college and embrace each other like no time has passed at all. All of the things that make up home will be back in place, and as T.S. Eliot states in his poem, Little Gidding, we will all arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Finally, I leave you with this. Hold the phrase, welcome home, close to your heart as you enter the next chapter of your life. Remember how much that means and how sweet it is to hear that statement from someone you love. Hold your pieces of home close and know that all of those pieces will fall back into place again one day. Thank you.